Hello, hello, and welcome to another edition of StarCraft II Co-op Mode ASMR Softspoken, Low Rambling, and all of the above. Thank you so much for joining me in here today as we are rocking it out there with Zero Tool Level 6. And uh, I have a funny feeling that we're going to be climbing our way to Level 7 here. Uh, just a funny little thought. Um, so thank you so much for clicking on the video, and uh, if you wouldn't mind uh, hitting the, that like button if you like what you are hearing so far, and uh, if you don't, uh, or if you want to subscribe to me later on, that is fine as well, as we jump into missed opportunities here with a, one of my favorite heroes, uh, Stokoff, for the win. I really enjoy what he's got going on there. Just gonna double check that I've got, yeah, I've got things rocking and rolling here. As I'm still getting uh, used to a different recording format. And I think I've got everything all set to go here. And I'll wish my ally friend a hi, 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 good luck, have fun. As we do see, we are playing in hard mode, or hard hybrid mode. I think that it still includes, like, my normal modeness to it all. Modeness is a, uh, a new word. And I'm gonna help out with his, oh, it's kind of a wall up here. And I'll put another structure down here, too. As I get going on my probe count or my, you know, whatever they're called, pre precursor, I'd have to look up where the origins of that name are. But we are here for missed opportunities, the quite easily the longest map of the co op uh, rounds here. The shortest being like um, the lockdown mission or whatever, where um oh what you I, I've gotten it down close to like fourteen minutes, um, but I understand that there are some ways to just crank that mission now. I always just go random missions, so I don't really prepare for any one mission type. Although I, I, I guess what I could be doing is looking up how to beat it quite quickly and uh, try to integrate some of the same um, tactics. And speaking of integrating tactics, I'm definitely forgetting to chrono boost my units out. So, lesson number one, don't forget to chrono boost your units. Alright. I'll defend up here for now. Make a couple. Sounds like there's a party in the back or something like that. All right. Oh, they're heading over to our base here. That's not fun. They're getting the surround, but they are only damaging my ambusher for a little bit. Oh, our enemy units up here. Oh, we can go down here. Let's uh, make another probe and another set of shield guard and ambushers. I do want to see where this first point is. Um, wherever that thing is moving towards, it's, uh, it's over on this base. Okay. I wonder if I can destroy these rocks quickly enough. I'll make a nexus, though. Nice. 
enemy is coming on in, but uh, it looks like Stukov has got it handled. Okay, boulders are down. I'm going to have Zeratul uh, find the artifact. And I do want to get a, uh, a constructs facility. I'll help out with these forces. Get the artifact over here. Booyah. Good job, Zeratul. Some Tesseract monoliths available. It's great that I made it uh, relative, or uh, unlocked it relatively soon, because the sooner I unlock it, the uh, more that I can have. And on this map, I could have quite a number. Okay, let's get another couple of ground units out. I do want to make my way to the um, uh, to that east point, and I can start setting up. I've got four four in my first group here, which probably means that I can start making uh, producing on my second group as soon as I don't lag. <laughs> no lag today. Let's go cloak. Great. I think that's like the second time I've ever used the cloaking ability. Okay, let's get some units out. And I do wanna rock a, uh, a bay. I think that's a bay, yeah. And I've been neglecting my probe count, too. Alright, on my way to get the... Or, he's on his way to get the bonus, it seems. No. Oh. Swing and a miss. Whoops. Enemies are coming back this way. I've got an enforcer out somewhere. Go ahead and, and join the fray. I'm trying to surround my shield guards, but to no avail. Let's get another enforcer. It looks like a lot of them. Yeah, Zergling, Mutalist, Corruptor, Birdlord. I kind of like the idea of uh, trying to get some abrogators out here. Complete our 18 probes, maybe 19 for kicks and giggles. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get an abrogator out. These peeps can join in the second group. of damage here. My test tracks are helping out quite a bit, but they did take a number of my units out. Three units, which doesn't sound very much, but um, when they're as expensive as they are, I don't really like to lose like that. Although I was arguably spreading my forces thin. 
Let's uh, boot these peeps into group two. Cool, a few more cannons that are also expensive. Let's get both of our groups out in the field. Um, it looks like I've got a few ambushers out. Uh, I've got three and three and in the group two. Um, did I have another enforcer? Maybe not. Okay. So let's get another enforcer, speed it out. Let's get also 4-4 four, four with my group here. Artifact, isn't it? Is that the top of these stairs? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, it's like somewhere over here. It's like right there. So I'm going to make the Zeratul not in that group and make Zeratul explore. Okay, and I probably want to consider getting a watcher. Tesseract monolith saves the day. How's Zeratul coming? Oh, he found it. Sweet. Okay. Tesseract matrix over here. Enforcer out because it looks like they have a lot of mutalisks and another uh, abrogator out because of the zergling count. sort of a pointless push up here but you know if you gotta flex you gotta flex let's get another watcher Zeratul is almost awakened let's get him out of the group though because I'm sure that he wants to find a fun artifact okay 
right here. Okay, we've got 4-4 four, four and 4-4. Four, four. Let's stick this shield guard in the first group and have this watcher follow this healthier abrogator. because he just kind of helps us to move along here. Ambusher went down, so I'll make another. Probably make an enforcer too. Alright. Getting our forces on the field. Looks like we might no, we don't have enough supply for more ambushers here, so that must mean something good. And I guess that's fine. Do we, can we, oh, we can manually click it. Okay, cool. Okay, looks like we're kind of on a struggle bus here. Okay. Let's charge on back up here. Cool. Rocking some more cannons out here so that we can spam those later if we want. job of just wiping everything out here. Looks like we did manage to leave a spore crawler out there. I wish that the purification novas were able to attack air. Because then the abrogators would be much more fun. Or at least had like a Oh yeah, I guess if it's just a targeted air, just more in general, that'd be cool. Interesting. Oh boy, they are pretty quick. He's been hanging out. Cool. <laughs> They're going for the final structure over there. Shall I go ahead and defend all these points? Oh, 
Okay. There's like a significant amount of things up here. Alright, cannons away. And a test rack. do a number on my test fact right now but I'm gonna tell them no <laughs> nice seems like that was enough uh, test fact for, for or, yeah they're all sort of called ten oh so one's a test fact cannon that's a test fact monolith got it Gators have a lot of. I didn't realize how many uh, eliminations they would have. That's crazy. Yeah, nothing they're going to be able to do about that. That's for sure. See if we can. Just sneak a couple more buildings down here. Huh. Yeah, what do you know? some things up here but that's not gonna go well we got another about 30 more seconds left and with that that is gonna be a 
Good old preemptive GG there for ya. Oh. Feels good. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Moments like that, I should figure out how to like build uh, build messages with buildings, like on the mini map. Let's see how you did. First one of the day, day bounty feels good. We did get our dark icons, which is excellent. Pretty neck and neck with eliminations, though he had 41 more, so. Uh, but not too shabby overall. It might even look like uh, I'm on the way to getting the, uh, the next power up here with the next match, so why not? as soon as we find a priority member to do -si do with. But, yeah, that, that didn't go too badly. I felt like I just needed his cloak that one time, but, like, other than that, it would be really nice for him to just be able to move around the map um, so that he can get his artifacts. And so instead of powering up his allies and peeps with a cloak he could be powering them up with a straight up 3-3 three, three in your face, you know but we're trying things out alright, we've got Statman here who is uh, an interesting commander, I think oh, I forgot my dark arcans, okay Pick that out of habit. And we'll say, uh, hi, 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 good luck, have fun to our ally friend. We've got another hard one on us today, hard match on us here. So, we'll make do, we'll make do. They're not putting down their stat lights, so I'm kind of wondering about that. Even forgetting what map this is, I haven't played this one in a hot second. Oh, wait a minute, he wants us to stay up there. And build a passageway. Okay, now he's getting the stat lights. Cool. Things for a stat. Cool. Yeah, because he's not working on any of his uh, prestiges right now. All right, he's gonna finish up for the probe count. He says no problem with a big old smiley face and he says hi. How nice. I like his uh, name too, Ion, where the I is a small case and the O-N are large case. It's cute. All right, let's get some peeps on out. Zero Tools Beacon, although I think that they're going to attack first. That would make sense. Alright. Let's get a wall going, or a faux wall, as I like to sometimes call it. Chrono boost out our one ambusher, and we'll chrono boost the other. a little bit. Can pump out a couple of shield guards here due to our forge. And um, 
pulled off on the uh, the uh, facility for now. Yeah, I want to make a couple more units. And they're doing some good, decent damage to the rocks, and in fact, they are ready to go. I'm glad that I didn't wait for uh, an enemy to come on by. Yeah, let's uh, attack these rocks, and then they can go over here. Cool. And I'll want to do the... Uh, to find the artifact pretty soon. Now it's time to grab the facility. Great. Let's round everybody up. Let's get Zero Tool to find the artifact right away. That was really lucky. Got some monolith action happening. Start to attack. Nice. Okay, let's put a Tesseract Monolith here. Get a Enforcer out and get some probe production happening. Okay. Little by little they sometimes say. Yeah, let's charge on in and see what happens. He's losing some shield here. Let's use our cloak. Apparently the uh, fixtures can still see us. Phoenix, okay. Go with another enforcer. Yeah, Zeratul's going to town over here. Okay, what else can we do? We've got an enforcer out. Um, I do want to make a bay. Got another couple of basic ground units. Void shards are almost dealt with here. Nice. And another void shard down the down the drain. Let's get uh, a couple of watchers, a couple of basic units, and another enforcer when I can. Okay. Okay. I'm forgetting it to saturate my base over here, but that should do it. We'll do another one just in case. Get our watcher friend to follow this enforcer. I got 4-4 four, four in the first group, so I'm gonna make this part of the second group. 
Uh, that's already getting us bed up. Let's get another couple of basic ground units. Get our cloak out again. The ambusher is down. Enforcers are doing some nice damage on this uh, map I've been noticing. Okay. Let's Geo go for it here. Okay, I think we pretty much have this, yeah, okay, that's all set, I feel like I was going to do something, and then I forgot what that was going to be, oh yeah, I'm going to search for another artifact here, where are you, Zero Tool? It's like right here, okay. So you get out of there. And where was it? It was like here. Nice. We have Tesseract Matrix again. Let's make another Enforcer. Then that'll be pretty much our group here. We can also make a handful of cannons here and get the bonus while it is still available for five minutes. that I wasn't going to get the bonus before I would charge again, but we rocked it to it. Okay, do a little spin a and call it a day. mainly de dealing with uh, flying units. So I was gonna get, I was gonna see if abrogators are gonna be worth it to replace the ambushers and, and shield guards, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. no matter what, and I'm gonna, we're gonna get the bonus there. So that was not the best of uh, decision making, but see where he is. Where are we finding it? We are finding it right there. Oh. 
I'll go off of his own. This bead is really helping, though. Cool. Let's Joe go for it. before the enemy could really get to us. Nice. Yeah, P's your host admin, stepping it up there. He did a really good job. And we did get to our next level as well. I didn't even see what like we've been getting. It was just like so giddy that we we're closer to 15. <laughs> Secretly, I'm just uh, looking forward to the next uh, prestige there. But, oh yeah, we got the Dark Archons that I forgot about. And then we did get what? Legendary Legion gained new abilities once the third artifact fragment is found. Gained the Maelstrom. Oh, interesting. So maybe the Dark Archons aren't that great even right now if they still need to get upgraded further. Though I think that they get... They might get mind control later, or they already have it. Uh, I know that that was kind of a good one to have, too. So with that, that is going to be the last and final match of the day. So thank you so much for joining on. Bye. And I hope that, that this was able to help you relax and uh, anything that you needed to be doing for your day to get it started or to um, end it um, peacefully. Uh, gosh, where am I going?